We're going to take a look at how we can work with vectors best within the Carveco Maker software. So the first one will be cleaning up vectors. Problem is when you import vectors in DXF, SVG, EPS, you can sometimes get some vectors which have a real or have a number of issues. So we've got three different issues across this video showing you some of the key things that I see all of the time and how I go about cleaning them up. So the first one is that vectors come in broken and sometimes with extra lines and different bits in. Pretty common that vectors come in broken or smashed up. Uh, so we're going to look at fixing some of these. So the way that we're going to do it is using the node editing tool. No point using any of the automatic tools because I can visually see these. The automatic tools are better for things you can't see. So all I'm doing is selecting the area, hitting N, the node um, editing mode, and then hovering over the line or the span and selecting R. That will remove a line out of the way. It removes a span. So that is a line between two points. It just removes. So just going through this whole design and just removing them from the ones I don't want. Sped up across this bit just because this came in with quite a lot of them. This was one I just downloaded for free off the internet. It is quite a, a common thing that I do get. So we've got all of the vectors there. The next thing I need to do is join them back together. You can press the J key as a shortcut, brings up join, rejoin them into 43 vectors now. I can see that's pretty solid. Next thing I like to do is just to right click and check to see if they're closed. So I right click um, and close it with a straight line or a smooth curve or move the endpoints together. Then I know that I've got some reasonably clean vectors by eye and that's when I go to the vector doctor, select identify, check for any of those little red circles, a very small one there. Now, because I've done this so many times, I know what these errors are going to be if there's just a random dot. So either a stray vector or it's a node on top of a node. This happens a lot. As I drag one out, it's a node on top of a node. So I can just basically move that to the side, check it's all right, and then hit D on the key, and that will just delete D on my keyboard, and that will just delete that stray node. Just do it again across all of the vectors re-identify it doesn't come up with any issues at all so now i know that that's pretty safe for me to play around with for machining but again i do like to check these a few times another trick i like to do is i like to flood fill all of those vectors so i can see what it looks like but before i do that i'm going to change the shape so it did come in with some square angles again n on the node key just smooth some of these out, change the shape a little bit, take off some of those rougher edges. To be honest, the machining tool won't get into that because it's a square edge. It'll give us a little round shape anyway. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna round that area off. Okay, so this is where I flood fill those vectors. That's basically gonna show me the area which would be area clearanced or pocketed out. See if I'm happy with that. If it doesn't work or you get some weird looking lines, then your vectors aren't right. All right, quickly over to the next one, which is uh, creating cleaner vectors. Sometimes when we import vectors, SVGs, however they come in, they come in with loads and loads of nodes smashed up, probably done in Illustrator or, you know, by another graphics program. There's a tool here called Spline Vectors. Now, basically what that does is that gives you, um, reduces the amount of node points in between each one, but... If you go too hard on this, it will change the underlying shape. So the trick of this, or the trick with this, is to actually work your way through the tolerance to find out what gives you the cleanest um, nodes you can get while maintaining the shape itself. Spline vectors is very, very useful. Sometimes you can bring in some massive vectors, some massive artwork, and then you click on node editing, and you're like, oh my God, what do I do with this? Well, spline tool is a tool for getting you out of this absolutely brilliant for cleaning up vectors that come in from somewhere else which makes them better for machining smoother vectors definitely clean up better for machining and you know you haven't got as many straight edges that the tool's just going to sort of do a hexagon type thing around rather than doing a nice clean 
smooth bezier curve. But if you wanted to, afterwards you could turn these to arcs. All right, unseen problem vectors. This happens all of the time. And when you machine, it can, it can give some weird results. But actually, sometimes it won't even machine. So if you look at this thing, fantastic, great, dead easy. Go to my toolpaths, I create my profile, I create my pocketing, whatever it is I'm working on. It looks fine when imported. There's none of those visual errors there. Now, you've spent your time setting up your toolpath, you calculate, and it says there's a problem with the vectors. You're like, oh, okay, what do I do? It's failed. I need to look at this. This is where if there's nothing visual, there's no duplicates, I go to my vector doctor and I work my way through open. I can see quite clearly there's some open here. So I'm gonna look at closing those. I'm obviously gonna zoom in and have a look. I think I can just see a broken line there. Um, but, oh, yep, I can right click, close. Close that with a line, that'll close for a smooth curve. That'll close one, oh. All right, so yeah, that's an interesting bit. So I've undone that. I actually need to close those vectors manually potentially because the tool won't do that itself so i'm just going to get that node point just drag it to close simple okay because um there's a couple of breaks in my design and i'm just going to do that with that one so sometimes as i said the automatic tools don't quite do everything you need them to do now i'm going to join these just to make sure that it all closes up nicely Right, I've re-identified that, nothing open. Reselect it again. Check anything open. Hey, yep, there's something else here. What's going on there? All right, this is quite common as well. This is something where vectors overlap each other, where the point or the node's been added to the wrong part of the line. That's as simple as what we did in the first demonstration, which was node editing and remove. Um, and I'm just gonna close it again just to check it is nice and tight. Again, I'm checking it's not open. Right, what we got here? Let's select it. Okay, nothing open. See, I'm checking that a lot. Is there any duplicates? No duplicates, all right. I'm gonna identify a problem. Okay, there we go. We've got one of those red circles. I'm wondering if this is a dot over a dot again. Let's have a look. Let's go to node editing. Let's drag it. Okay, there's nothing there. It's a bit peculiar. All right. Let's uh, select it all again. Run the toolpaths. Rerun our strategy. And hopefully I've got all of the parts and points that are needed. Set my material block. 